Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Taz, and I'm back with a new video. We got a new uh, 4K Blu ray to review today, and I'm really, really happy about this. Got this from um, Paramount Pictures, and you already know what it is by the title, so we'll get to that in just a minute. And uh, I just real quick wanted to show you, uh, yeah, this is something else I picked up. I had this on DVD for the longest time. Finally happy. Now I get to upgrade it to Blu-ray. And I know some people might be like, why don't you just wait for the 4K? Well, the movie I'm talking about, I don't know. Lindsay Lohan in I Know Who Killed Me. And, uh, I mean, sure, you know, I mean, you'll see Lindsay Lohan there. It's like, yeah, maybe it'd be worth it if they do put out a 4K, but... You know, this movie isn't exactly the most beloved, and I'm not really sure if anybody's really, like, chomping at the bit to get this out on 4K. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Hell, for all Rocky, you hit any number of times I've been wrong. But, but uh, yeah, so, I don't know. But, anyway, I just thought, you know, it's just nice to have it on. Get upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray, so I'm happy about that. So, I can live with it on Blu-ray for the time being. So, yeah. Definitely, this was when uh, Lindsay Lohan was uh, decided she was tired of doing, you know, PG-13 movies and family films and stuff like that. Started wanting to take on more grown-up roles. So, anyway, so, yeah. So, for the time being, I can live with that. I know who killed me. Now, the real reason you're here, we're going to talk about... Today, I got this beautiful edition of the 1999 Tim Burton film, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. From Paramount Pictures on 4K. Look at that. It's a nice, beautiful edition. And uh, real quick, if you don't mind, the reason why I want to do this is because I filmed the version uh, video earlier, and I completely forgot to show the J card or even to mention what the bonus features are. But I think you pretty much guess. But anyway, so here you go. There's the J card. And the bonus features, you have commentary by director Tim Burton. Fun commentary, you know, it's like you listen to him, it's like fun, some of the stories he tells about, like, uh, you know, how, like, uh, Johnny Depp was was so, such a fan of the the uh, Disney cartoon, and he wanted to look like Ichabod Crane from it. He wanted, you know, big feet prosthetics, he wanted the nose, he wanted, and Tim Burton's like, you know, I finally I had to, like, rein his ass in, you know, like, he was just going overboard with it. So, uh, yeah, commentary by Tim Burton, Sleepy Hollow, Behind the Legend, Reflections on Sleepy Hollow, and uh, another thing, too, is that featuring the complete classic story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, by Washington Irving, and uh, that's actually amazing, you know, that they included this in here, and one thing I will note, you gotta remember, okay, it does have the story, and that's the thing about this, in this steel book here, it almost kind of comes off looking something like a vintage book, Almost. You can see there. You got the Tree of the Dead there. But honestly, it's like I really was not expecting them to say that uh, this is the complete book, but the complete story, but it is. It actually is. Because, like, you see right there, you see some of the, the text and everything else. You see some of the imagery from the movie and all that kind of stuff. And I had my doubts because I had read the book years ago as a kid. And you got to remember, this was a story that was published in 1820. So yeah, so some of the uh, so some of the language is not going to be you know politically correct. And so I was expecting to, like an edited or an abridged version of the story, but that's not what you get. You get the full text, the full story. So wow. So just be mindful of that, okay? If you're easily offended, you may not want to read this. Uh, so, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I just thought that that actually was amazing that they do put the original complete story in there, you know, un unedited, un unabridged, all that kind of stuff. So that was amazing. And this 4K, you know, like, oh, wow, this is glorious. Look at how beautiful that is. One thing I will say, though, I am not a fan of, though, and this is the downside, is this here. Okay, the way the discs are held, because you see we got the 4K there. Take the 4K out, and... You got the Blu-ray. So yeah, so that's something I'm not particularly fond of is the idea that, this, that the uh, discs are stacked on top of each other. So yeah, that's... Yeah, there's one gripe I have about this uh, Steelbook set. It's that. It is personally, what they should have done, in my opinion, is maybe have like one disc holder here, one on the back, you know, like this one could be for the 4K, the other one could be for the Blu-ray or something like that. Like that would have been... I think that would have been the better choice. 
Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it's, it is a nice addition, though. But just, yeah, be mindful of that. You know, you're going to have to be careful when handling your discs. Uh, also, real quick, also, uh, this comes with a digital code. So, for the 4K, or for the uh, digital enthusiasts out there, if someone gives you a digital code for this edition, you should be able to get the... Um, the 4K UHD version. When I renewed my code, that's what I was able to get. So you should be able to get that from this edition. Uh, now, you know, just, oh my gosh, this movie, I love this movie, you know, it's like, you know, directed by, you know, genius Tim Burton, you know, starring my man, Johnny Depp, and, uh, you know, Christina Ritchie. Oh yeah, in case if anybody's wondering, yes, Christina Ritchie does look amazing. She looks phenomenal in 4K, so, if, you know, you love you some Christina Ritchie, you're going to love her, love the way she looks in this in 4K. So, yeah. So, you're going to be happy about that. And, uh, sound-wise, the film, it's okay. You get the, you know, you got, uh, of course, you got commentary and stuff, but, you know, different language settings, German, French, etc. Um, you do get uh, Master Audio 5.1 HD, which, I don't know, that seems to start becoming par for the course with, uh, you know, par for the course with, you know, 4Ks anymore. It's like, you know, I I really would have preferred this maybe had gotten like a Dolby Atmos track, but, uh, but I mean, it's okay. You know, it's like, yeah, uh, there are going to be a couple of moments where, I mean, definitely like Danny Elfman's score definitely comes in. A lot of the sound effects come in and all that kind of stuff. But there are going to be a couple of scenes, mind you, where it's like, you know, where it could be just a couple of characters talking. And especially if they're talking in soft voices, you're going to be, I gotta kind of turn up a little bit so I can hear it. Then you gotta turn it down when it starts getting noisy again. But um, if you got a sound system, you know, you pretty much balance it out better. But picture quality wise, and uh, yeah, like I kind of, you know, maybe I'm being biased, but you know, I kind of had a feeling like this was gonna look phenomenal in 4K. And it does. You know, I personally, I think it does. There are a couple of scenes I feel like they might have done a little bit of digital polishing, but. Overall, like, just this movie looks amazing in 4K. And the reason why I figured this movie would look in 4K, because, you know, with 4K and high dynamic range, we all know that what it does is it tends to lower, you know, soften some of the brighter colors and bring up, you know, elevate the darker colors. And with a movie like this, with the dark, you know, horror gothic palette and everything, this movie... Oh, yeah, like, this movie would have been, it would have been strange if this movie didn't look amazing in 4K, and it truly does, and this, you know, the designs, the setting, the costumes, everything else just looks amazing, you know, it's like, it's great when you get these period piece films, and, uh, you know, they just look phenomenal and stuff, um, like, yeah, like, uh, you know, one thing I think looks uh, phenomenal is the Western woods scenery. And it's like, it's even more phenomenal when you think, when you realize like that all that stuff was put on a set. It was all built on a set and everything else. And then you look at it, it's like, you know, I, I admit, cause I'm sitting there, I like the scenes in the Western woods. I'm like, I'm trying to see if I can find any kind of like, you know, like little flaws or something like that. And I can't find anything. It's like, man, it looks so real, you know, for something that was all fabricated on a set. It looks, oh, wow. And uh, just, oh, also, too, the, uh, you know, the uh, country setting and everything. And, and that's another thing, too, is, like, you know, you definitely feel, like, the the cold and the dark, you know, like, the, the oncoming, you know, you know, the fall going into winter, almost atmosphere of it and everything. You could feel the cold and the darkness and everything. And it's like, my God, this movie just does look astonishing in 4K. And, uh man oh man and i'm so glad we were able to get this in time for halloween this year and this is one i'm definitely going to have fun watching ah <sighs> man i'm happy today you know just but uh you know and that's another thing though too you know like this was 30 dollars 99 cents but you know i got you know with store credit and everything i had some store credit left over all i had to pay was seven bucks so i think for seven bucks i got this as steel but there is the uh standard edition if you're not in you're not a steel book type you know, you can get the standard edition for uh, $22.99. So, I mean, that's a killer price for a 4K, and it is quality. Like I said, overall, just the picture looks great. Everything, you know, like I said, just kind of would have been nice. Maybe we got a Dolby Atmos track, but it is what it is. So, uh, but, you know, do I recommend this? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think Paramount did a bang-up job on this, and it just, uh, and, uh, like I said, you know, I'm just so happy.
I'm happy to see this. And, uh, oh, just real quick, yeah, I heard the uh, rumor about uh, Johnny Depp is going to play Jack Skellington in the the uh, live-action version of Nightmare Before Christmas. Let me put it this way. I'll believe him when I see it, okay? Because I've seen interview. you know, like if you watched, you know, the uh, Johnny Depp trial last year, like, you know, he had said, like, he really has no interest in working for Disney ever again. And Tim Burton has said he's not really interested in working for Disney anymore. But when you consider what Disney does to the animated films and stuff when they turn them into live action, the two of them might have reconsidered and been like, you know, yeah, consider, you know, when you think about what Disney could possibly do to this thing, it's like, yeah, we better, you know, so, you know, we better do this ourselves, you know, because, you know, look at how Disney butchers these animated movies now. So, but anyway, like I said, I'll believe it when I see it. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like. Uh, not so much for Disney, but, you know, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. You guys know, I just did the 4K review for Nightmare Before Christmas. But, um, yeah, they do that, you know, it's like Tim Burton's at the helm. Johnny Depp is Jack Skellington. Yeah, you know, I could see I could see myself, you know, going for that. But, like I said, time will tell. But in the meanwhile, I can definitely, you know, sit here and enjoy Sleepy Hollow on 4K. And, yeah, I'm not the least bit sorry I got this. And... Hell yeah. So anyway, I totally recommend this. You know, if you're a fan of it, and even if you're getting ready to check, you want to check it out for the first time, 4K is a good way to go. Trust me on that. You're really going to love it. So that's it. So uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please leave it a like? And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and there's definitely more to come. And I appreciate each and every single one of you taking time out of your day to watch my videos. It does honestly mean a lot to me. And uh, again, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank all of you enough. So uh, that's it. Take care, everybody. Have a good night, and I'll see you later.